We've come for a Sparrowhawk rescue in a superstore, Wix, but there's not one of them, there's two of them. Calls to rescue birds of prey stuck in large buildings are always tricky, but catching two birds in this vast open space would definitely be a challenge. As we arrived on scene, it became clear that even finding the birds amongst the myriad of shelves would not be an easy task. So I've been able to see him most of the time, so this is like when he's literally left as you turned up. I'll tell you, once you get your eyes on it, Jacob, do not lose it. Right, I'll try. Whatever happens, don't take your eyes off it. There it is, there it is, there it is. Like that, here. Going down the far end on our side. It's on top of the mezzanine. There's a beam above you. Coming back. Anybody got eyes? With the roof being far too high for even our longest poles to reach, our first thought was to guide the bird onto the raised mezzanine to aid capture. Okay, third beam up, far right. While this was good in theory, the Sparrowhawk was definitely not making it easy. Going back. Over your head. I see him. Yeah, got him. Oh, no, it's flying, flying. Back this way. He's up that one above your head. Okay, Doug, we'll, we'll go for a pinch. You take the back, I take the front. You ready? One, two, three, go. Got it. No, I wait. I've got him. Okay, slowly bring your neck down to his containment there. He's against the beam, so okay. you can come up the other side of mine. Yep, yep, coming down. Alright, can you get to the left of mine? Okay. Okay. Really slowly, really, really slowly. Okay, let's just do it down the wall or like that. Yeah. Keep them together, keep them together, keep them together. No, what? I think you say whoops. It's only it so far anyway, let's see what happens next. You want to attempt it or not? I'll go if you like. Do you want to get a net up just in case it comes out? Yep. Put this light. Ready, Simon? Go! Close, man. Do you guys have anything that we can stand on at all? Uh, yeah, if you've got an A-frame ladder, we'll give it a go. Thank you. So what are we doing now? I'm going to try and net over it with the A-frame. Right, on the far end, you see him, Doug? You've got potential up here, though, if you need it. Yeah. Far corner. Oh, he's back again, Laura, he's back again. Okay, do you want to grab... Jacob, can you grab that A-frame and walk it down with me? Yeah, okay. Do you want to get the left-hand side? You know, get a net up on the left. And this. And then I'll go to the A-frame and try and... Because it's unfortunately... Go, 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 go. Oh, oh, hard luck, mate. You couldn't have done better than that, boy. So you couldn't have done more, going. Doesn't help. <laughs> just if you heard it the other way. I'm one of those stubborn people that just goes, damn, I missed. Alright, anybody got eyes? Left, left, left. On the window, very good spot. Right, someone get to me. I've got it. Yep, 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 yep. Behind my neck. Yep, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Really steady and careful. Right. Hang on. Come down absolutely together. Go for this bit of a gap. This is going to be the issue. Right. Slowly pull yours towards me, mate. Okay. Right. Ready for the next step? Is that why there, guys? You've been able to come forward. Steady, guys. Really steady now. Right. Well, well, Jacob? Yeah, I'm right here. Uh, and as soon as we get down into the wall, into the wall, into the wall, into the wall. Just yep. stand still for a minute, Jake can grab the bird. Yep. And then we know Careful with your hands, mate. There you go, we're good, we're good, we're good. Just let Jacob do his thing. Okay, down to the floor, down to the floor, down to the floor, down to the floor. 
Careful your hands. He's not, no, he's not bad. Let him go. So walk out now. Let's walk straight to the door and let him go. We'll get the nets in a minute. Right. Go on, bird. Go and find yourself some breakfast or lunch or dinner. Go on. I'm playing dead. Go on, that's a good boy. There he goes. He's gone into that tree. You have plenty of strength. He's sitting on top of the tree waiting for lunch. Now that the sparrowhawk was finally safely captured and set free, attention could turn to the pigeon that the sparrowhawk was chasing. Unfortunately, in a bid to escape predation, it had managed to get stuck between a window and a wooden board that was far out of our reach. I think, right. it's, I think it's between these two posts here. Okay, so maybe these two, but it's going sort of the middle. Drag it up and then grab it when it gets to yeah. the top. Let's have a look. Okay, let's have a look first, and then I shall decide what we're going to do. Yeah, it might need two of us up here, Laurie, I'll see, but we'll see. Okay. You chuck me the, the net first, but... So, neither the net needs to be... ...one longer than that. Now, it's getting it down there. That's the other end now. I think it's going to need two nets, Laurie. Two nets. What size do you want me, Simon? Roughly where Abby is. You've got to lean over those lights, remember, to get there. Yep. Right in the very corner now. It's going to go up and over. We've got a net. Thank you, mate. Jake, can you stand on the bottom of the ladder? He's going to lean forward and I don't want to unbalance it. I'm going to go up and over. Careful, mate. He's right in the very corner, Laurie. Okay. Absolutely in the corner. You might just need to get the stick in there to push him towards me, I think. Right. If their internet suddenly dies, it's probably my fault. Right, you've got it at the moment, but... Yeah, but... Can I try and get my... Sorry, you then can't come up together, can we? You no. get my net behind you. The, the way to, I'm going to have to lift it and then try and get it in. Yeah. You know, on this side here, but there's nails going all the way up. Oh, no. Can you get your... Your net in behind mine? So follow this wall in. Get it in, and then once it's in there, we'll move over, and you can pin it against the glass. Yeah, I know what you mean. Either that, or chuck me the net, and I'll try and do it from here. Right, you, you want to grab it? You grab it. Got it. Come on, into the other net. Come on, bitch. So Laurie's got the pigeon between the two nets in a single single person pincer movement, and now he's got to try to lift the nets um, and not lose the pigeon because one net's much smaller than the other. So it's just a matter of whether you can get both nets together enough to to bring both up at once. Come on, Pitch, we're trying to help. Just about to come up, Roy's just trying to, he's got the net right up towards him now, he's just trying to grab hold of the pigeon before it goes too far and gets out the net. Can I do anything or not? Not really. Okay, and another cheer for Brayley. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Nearly. Just don't let go of it, Roy. Pigeon. Right, so we're down. A bit dehydrated, but nothing too bad. He's good. You've had a lucky right. escape, bird. Hello, Pidge. Right, so we've come to the other side, so you're not in direct competition with the sparrow hub. Be free. You're being a pedestrian pigeon. There we go. One place you go, the pigeon spikes on the roof. You can tell how effective they are. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel by pressing the red button. And make sure you hit the bell to get notifications of our latest content. If you want to help us save wildlife, please donate. Every pound you give will help us to save more wildlife.